uh, today I want to continue what I started last week and didn't finish. So last time we talked about an extraordinary God uh, time, and now we want to talk about an extraordinary God. Uh, last time we talked about the extraordinary God. And we use Moses as an example. And we use this verse, the second verse of Exodus chapter 15, to talk about that. So why could Moses not be afraid even though behind them was an army and in front of them was an ocean? Uh, Maybe you've heard about this story of Moses, the account of Moses. At that time, the Egyptian army was chasing him. He was leading a group that was escaping of two million people, including old people and children. Of course, that doesn't make for a fast escape. Okay, so as they were escaping, back then no GPS, seems like they got lost. Doesn't matter, even if we have GPS today, we still get lost. They were in the desert. In front of them was an ocean, a big ocean. And behind them was the elite force of the Egyptian army chasing them. So they had horses and chariots, and at that time, the best weapons. What could Moses do? At that time, the Israelites were very afraid. And they started to criticize Moses. Why did you take us out of Egypt? You think it's better that we come out here to die in the desert than suffer in Egypt? They seem to have forgotten that for generations in Egypt that they had been asking God to deliver them. But in this time of danger, they started to uh, doubt. I'm sh I think that when at the moment they left Egypt, they were very happy. They had a big meal. Uh, the, the, big, the feast that later became the Passover feast. They had uh, lamb, roast lamb. So waiting in them, their families on the way to Inner Mongolia, and they're looking forward to having some lamb when they get there. And there, when they were leaving Egypt, their neighbors had already become, uh, you know, very afraid of the Israelite people. And uh, God had already uh, had sent nine plagues on them. On the that night, the tenth plague came. 
，哇！佢哋所有後生嘅，無論係仔或者咧，係嗰啲嘅畜生，都咧係突然間死咗。So no matter、uh, whether it was the firstborn person in the family or the firstborn of the livestock, that night they died. 唔知你又有你哋有冇好留心嘅睇聖經嗰度講所發生咩事？ I don't know if you pay close attention to the details of what the Bible says that happened at that time. 当时咧，佢哋走嘅时候咧，仲要问，仲要啲邻居度问佢哋，诶，你哋有冇咩诶，话你耳环几靓喎？你啲咩啊？啲金啊，银啊，系咪啊？呢个珠宝啊，都，哎呀，我哋送埋俾你哋啦，快啲走。The Egyptians at that time were so happy to see them go that the Israelites could ask for the Egyptians. Precious things like gold and silver, jewelry. The they asked for it, and the Egyptians were happy to give it to them. Say yes, here it is. Get out of here. So, so that's where they got the big 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 Well, that wasn't God's intention. Actually, he the plan was that he could use this. God could use this gold and precious things to make the tabernacle. Oh, so, but then. 当时佢哋成二百万人咧，都系咁样去埋怨。But The whole group, two two million of them, started to grumble. Because they were afraid they were going to die. But only one was not afraid. There was only one who was not afraid. Who was that? 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 Who Hey Moses, am I? Moses, right? He was not afraid. He said, "You own things. You need to be peaceful, quiet, be calm." But you talk sing. Don't make a sound. Don't make a sound. Because they were grumbling. So you know, Moses, you know, actually, is very smart. Uh, a nice way, maybe Moses was saying it in a nice way. You are my boy, so shut up. Yeah. If it was me, I would say, "Sao Sam." Moses, you are. 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 What work God will do for us? Well, today, you see all these dangerous, these cruel men, these evil soldiers. Those ferocious soldiers, you see, chasing after you. Those ferocious soldiers, you see, chasing you. Today, you will never see them again. Those ferocious soldiers, you see, chasing you. Today, you will never see again. This was Moses' faith. So, today, God is saying that Moses had faith. How could he have this faith? Because he believed that God would do something for us. Because he believed that God would do something for us. How could he have this faith? Because he believed that God would do something for us. How could he have this faith? Because he believed that God would do something for us. Because he believed that God would Adonai, or the Lord, their Lord is God. I got to go to buy a whole dog or something. The Egyptians worship many different gods. Whole dog and all kinds. Many different idols. But they, all they do, my son. But those were not really God. Moses knew that there was only one God. Moses knew that there was only one. And he didn't need to make something, you know, a little idol for someone to worship. Because God is omnipresent. Omnipresent. He is everywhere. Omnipresent. He's everywhere. He is everywhere. He is everywhere. He is everywhere. God is with them in front of the Red Sea. 所以摩西知道，雖然間有埃及嘅兵追嚟，佢都唔使驚。So Moses knew that even though the Egyptian army was chasing them, he didn't have any need to be afraid. 所以間前邊咧係嗰啲
啊，好大嘅浪、啊、我想話滔滔大，但係佢唔識。呢個嘅大海係係波浪啊，滾滾嘅。So in front of them,、uh, the the waves of the Red Sea, the ocean. 佢唔使驚。He didn't need to be afraid. 點解啊 ？Why not? 因為佢知道上主就係佢嘅神。Because he knew that the Lord is his God. 呢位神。就喺嗰個時候同佢哋一齊。And at that time, this God was with them. 所以佢亦都知道咧，上主就係佢嘅力量。He knew that God is his strength. The Lord is his strength. 結果，神咧就使到呢個海水分開。And what did God do? He parted the Red Sea. 咁有啲以色列人咧就跟住摩西一路過呢個河。And then the Israelites could follow Moses through the Red Sea. <laughs> no, didn't need a boat. <laughs> didn't need to row your boat. <laughs> Just walking across on dry land. <laughs> And so here come the soldiers. <laughs> And so they said, "We're great. We'll just continue to chase them." And I also,、uh, you know, think it's very strange that they were, you know, brave enough to go in there to follow the Israelites. You know, if they saw two walls of, you know, the water, the wall of water on both sides. 簡直就係一個奇景啊！係咪啊 ？It looks like a trap. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> okay, it's it's a miracle. It's a miracle. They could see it. There's a miracle happening in front of them. 你有諗？你你有冇諗到啊？誒誒，連我哋咧去睇戲咧，睇十戒有冇睇過啊 ？Have you ever watched the whole movie, The Ten Commandments? 嗰嗰個嗰個嗰個出戲，你會睇到哇，都好似好犀利，好宏偉啊嘛。Yeah, we, you know, if you see it and can visualize it, you see that it's a really an amazing thing. 正啊。And and terrifying even. 但係嗰時咧，嗰啲埃及兵唔知點解佢哋繼續衝過去。But I don't know why the Israel, the、uh, Egyptian soldiers thought they could just go in there. 咁跟住神就使咗海水合翻埋。And then God allowed the water to come back together. Come, 聖經話俾我哋聽咧，嗰啲埃及人，嗰啲兵咧，佢哋走唔甩啊。And the Egyptian soldiers could not get away. 佢哋想咧係轉頭只馬車嚇去走啦。Let's. What if they wanted to turn the chariots around and get out? 你啲馬車又甩碌，甩咗碌。The wheels fell off. 走唔到，全部都淹死曬。They couldn't escape. All of them died. But not even one Israelite died. So Moses, he crossed the Red Sea. He wrote this song. So after they crossed through the Red Sea, Moses wrote a song. And it's in Exodus chapter 15. He said, "Yahweh is my strength. The Lord is my strength and my song. Yah, 成了我嘅拯救 and my salvation. 呢个系我嘅神 He is my God. 我要赞美佢 and I will praise Him. 系我父亲嘅神 My Father's God. 我要尊崇 and I will exalt Him. 结果，我哋睇到摩西佢唔单止系。Not only is Moses very happy that God saved all of them, but 有時我哋會咁講，哎呀，神都幫我解決啲問題啦，好開心啦，跟住咧就冇嘢啦。We'll be like that sometimes too. God helps us with a big problem. We're very happy about it, and then we forget. Yeah, 就係咁樣。And that's that's it. 又繼續我哋每一日嘅生活。And we just keep on going as as before. 好似我哋嘅生命咧係。It's like that. Our life has no change after that. Right? I believe we have many Christians who have experienced God's blessing. I'm sure all of us Christians have experienced God's blessing before. Then you, ah, that God is very happy. And we're very happy. We praise God for it. Solved? Yeah. This problem is solved. Then. 
No, I go move. Uh, back to <laughs> business as usual. <laughs> but not for Moses. He said, I want I need to praise God. And this shows his thanksgiving. So what happened in his praise, he's continuing to spread the goodness of God to others. And we can see Moses' life changing. At the beginning, he was saying no to God. But as he led the Israelites, we could see the progress and change in his life. You can see for in the beginning where he was a rather bad tempered man changed to the point where God said he is the most humble man. And as we experience God, our lives should change too. And he says, I will praise him. Jesus said, I will praise him. He said, I will exalt him. That means he puts God in the first place in his life. So he's made his life a complete, a 100% sacrifice. What does that mean? For, for us, what does that mean? It means that we put Jesus in the very first place in our life. What challenge has God given you today? I remember when God in 1969 told me to leave Hong Kong and go to the USA to study theology. Okay, so now maybe today if someone says, you know, I'm going to go to America to go study, it's like a time to celebrate. <laughs> Okay, so you know back then, uh, you know, young people he hadn't left Tonga before, not even to go to Macau. And, and to, such a big trip to a place like America uh it'd be uh, a worry. Uh, uh, WhatsApp, uh, WeChat, uh, Facebook. Uh. <laughs> There's none of that stuff he just said back then. <laughs> no. None of that. Wow. Okay, now what I am in the young man, okay. Back then, in the first year, he only phoned home one time. And that, what was that? That was even a gift. From a friend to him to pay for that because he doesn't have any money. <laughs> so Wayne thinks, and I don't understand this yet. If you open a shop in the airport, oh, I understand. Uh, I think back then, if you open a shop. In the airport selling tissues, you would make a lot of money. <laughs> because everyone's crying when they say goodbye. So the airport was a place of sorrow. <laughs>
I remember at that time my mother and a good friend came to see me off. <laughs> I don't know how, somehow, they got through uh, immigration with me into the line, through the, through the place you're not supposed to go in. They came in with me. Yeah, they got in the restricted area and got in line with me for customs. You know, they, they couldn't bear to see me go. It's like if you leave, we don't know when we'll see you again. It wasn't so simple then to make such a trip. When God told me to go study in a Bible school, I was not willing. But had I experienced God? I had. I had had I had had things that I was thankful for before. And if you'd asked me before, have you given your life to God? I would have said, of course, yes. But now God says, give you a chance, an opportunity. And I said, no, 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 leave me alone. But praise the But praise the Lord, God helped me that night to accept this challenge that he gave me. And my life, the whole path of my life from that time forward was completely changed because of God's grace. So for us Christians, there's no dead end. When Moses and the Israelites faced the Red Sea in front of them, they thought it was a dead end. But instead, it was not God opened another path for them. A path to the place that God had promised them. Today, I don't know what you are facing. Maybe you're facing what looks like a dead end. But we have a Heavenly Father who loves us so much. Today's Father's Day. Our Heavenly Father loves us more than any earthly father. Have you thought of that? So not only does this Heavenly Father who loves us, uh, not only does our Heavenly Father God love us, but He's also all-powerful. Well, that's even better, right? I love my children. I love my grandchildren. But sometimes there's nothing I can do. Uh, a few days ago, my uh, my grandson got a contagious, nasty virus. Yeah, uh, hand, foot, and mouth. Got little spots all over. How you And in his mouth. So it's you know painful to eat. 
Even though I love him a lot, there's nothing I can do. All I can do is pray that our Heavenly Father would do something. He loves us, but not only that, He's powerful, all powerful. He is the one, He's the only one who can help. So for Christians, there's no dead end. There's always a wide path God has for us. The path that God has made open for us. So we ask that the Lord will have mercy on each one of us. Um, as, as Moses saw, there's only one God, the creator of the heavens and the earth. He said, the Lord is my God. The Lord is my strength. The Lord is my song. And the Lord is my salvation. I hope that you can also come to know this God and His love.